Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Nikki. We are the co-founders of Centered Meditation. We're going to address with you a little sentence that you hear each time you do one of our meditation sequences. And that is, you are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are simply passing through you. You're not your emotions. Your emotions too are just passing through you. You simply are. Now, what does that actually mean? What? You mean I'm not my thoughts? And I'm no. not my emotions? No. Well, what am I then? Good question. <laughs> so essentially, first of all, the line, you are not your thoughts. What has, is actually happening in the brain when we're having thoughts? Scientists tell us it's just literally electrochemical reactions and processes occurring. And when it comes to emotions, emotions are constituted of merely physical sensations in the body. Yeah, but that emotion of, of excitement or anxiety that I was experiencing was real. Like it was actually real. Are you saying that, that, I'm, that it's not real? No, not at all. So the f sensations that you're feeling are absolutely real. The interesting thing actually between excitement and anxiety is that the physical sensations you're having when you're feeling excited or feeling anxious are actually pretty much the same thing. It's just the thoughts that are happening around it, which con which constitute whether we're actually it's something kind of unpleasant or pleasant. Yeah, wow. And so when we look at this, then we look at the ramifications on you know not being our thoughts and not being our emotions. Because by the way, I like yeah, I've spent you know quite a bit of time being angry in my life, but you know I don't look anything like anger, even when I'm angry. You know I look very much like Kevin. So you know we're not. <laughs> we're, we're certainly not you cannot be an emotion yeah of course the, the implications is that yeah there's emotions that are passing through us there are thoughts that are passing through us and those are very real but we are not fundamentally them and we they don't have to define us either yeah exactly we don't have to be dragged around by the nose by our thoughts which are telling us you know you can do this you can't do that you're not good enough to do that you're only good enough to do this or you know our emotional experiences that you know have a whole, open up a whole another realm of uh, you know of, of constraint we can really just start to observe them and that's what we do in the practice of meditation we actually cultivate well one of the things we do is we cultivate this mind of an observer having this ability to actually drag ourselves out of the pool whirlpool of thoughts and emotions and just start to watch them and in that watching there becomes an opening for a you know a reactionary gap starts to open we can see oh wow there's the thoughts there's the emotions and here i am completely separate to them so i can respond in my own in my own way and through the regular practice of meditation this actually starts to carry forward in your everyday life which will have you not reacting to situations that you've previously reacted to, will have you, uh, you know, empowered in situations that you were previously disempowered in, and a host of other benefits. And the great thing is it happens really naturally and spontaneously, and one day you wake up, something happens, and you realize, oh, wow, like I dealt with that completely different than how I would have done pre-meditation. Yeah. So... Understanding all that, I really guess the only bi other big question to answer is, well, if I'm not my thoughts and I'm not my emotions, then what am I? But mm, you know, That's for you to discover. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.